I, I didn't hear anything about DMT really before trying it. I was just uh, going on faith, as it were. This uh, taking place in the 1960s, you know, we had some experience with LSD already. We liked it a lot, and it was maybe my reason for moving from Princeton to Santa Cruz was the the hip culture. I mean, it wasn't only psychedelics, but it was everything, vegetarian, communal, living. It was an alternate culture that was so much more fun than Princeton University. And the atmosphere in Santa Cruz, California in the 1960s was, we are doing research here. We are dedicating our lives to trying just about everything on the planet. So we, uh, you know, we heard of, of peyote, we would try it. Then we would talk about it. Then we would evaluate it. Then we would do it. In, not, it's not scientific experiments. But we were, uh, we regarded ourselves more or less as spiritual pioneers. We were bringing in traditional knowledge from other cultures. We would only recommend to people on the basis of our own experience. And that was sort of the background. Dancing, yoga, macrobiotic diet, uh, different uh, spiritual teachers, some of them really bad. And uh, we were just uh, distilling it all. It was a group project, a community of some, you know, a couple thousand people probably. So in that uh, background, somebody produced a large jar of DMT and said, this is how you do it. You smoke a little in a pipe and so on. And in order to find out what it was, we just did some. <laughs>